there. Ah, uh, issues, issues, all the issues. <laughs> uh, no, but somehow, uh, I the same was uh, with my desktop audio when I started. Uh, somehow, my um, my PC decided that uh, it should just uh, switch everything for me. <laughs> so, so on desktop audio, it switched to a source that I'm not using, and on a mic, it shit switches to the source I'm not using. And now my yeah, turn it up. And uh, yeah, so that's a little bit annoying. Meetings. <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe, because I turned off my PC last night, and when I woke up, it was on. So probably it has done some updates instead. <laughs> so yeah, that might be it actually. So <clears throat> let's see how we can do in this uh, exciting little game. It does look nice, doesn't it? So welcome again, since uh, you didn't hear me before. Welcome Kvern Knoven and welcome Lana. <laughs> and to everyone uh, lurking. a little bit far away. Wait. This is my second time I play this game. Or uh, something like that. So I'm still learning. But I like it, so I bought myself a 90 day premium. <laughs> well, I'm off this week. But that's nice. But yeah, maybe next time. <laughs> maybe next time. Oh 
don't know, he has a friend. Why? Well, I'm going to take you anyway. Come on. I'm sinking. I'm going to sink. did I survive that? Look at my ship. <laughs> I'm surprised it still is afloat. I need to... I don't have repair kits. I need to... Yeah, I like it. It's... You have played World of Tanks, have you? Yeah, graphically it's beautiful. It's the same people that make world, 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 world of Tanks. So, I like it. I really do. It's very cool. And since it was free to play, unless, uh, of course, I <laughs> bought the premium now, but it was free to, to play. So, I figured why not, but, uh, there we go, research that, this piece. Maybe I should uh, research the second tier. Yeah, let's do that. 69, yeah. Out slot, with slot. Okay. Maybe we can sell some of these. Can I sell that? What are these hundred percent things? Are they Quan uh, Knu? Do you know that these hundred percent things are they? Will they give more bonuses if I use them? Maybe I should wait with purchasing a new ship. Oh, you earn. Okay, I see. Yeah, it's a learning curve for me as well. <laughs> but we figure it out. And I, I, I haven't played too much of uh, World of Tanks to really know uh, how this game works. But yeah, I understand that you make... So how... Mount premium consumable consumables. Well, okay. What 
but I don't have Dublons, so I don't want the premium stiff. But I would like two more mount. Alright, tech tree. Let's try another ship then. <clears throat> Let's try this one. And I will just get my coffee. I can't be sailing without coffee, can I? So, Mother Russia. That's who we are now. Coffee is mandatory. Oh yes, it is. It is. It is. It is very mandatory. I broke my horn. <laughs> uh, this is warships though, Lana. <laughs> but uh, you mean warplanes? Because I tried uh, World of Tanks. I have not tried World of Planes, warplanes. But uh, World of Tanks, I uh, do like it, but I haven't played it for a long time. And I was never uh, that good at it, to be honest. But World of Warplanes uh, sounds like fun. But I do also have uh, War Thunder, uh, which I, do I, I have not played it a lot. But World of War Thunder is the same uh, producer set uh, as um, Crossout. So War Thunder I have played and I have uh, tried uh, flying and uh, tanking in that game, but I have not played it that much. Yeah, I do like these games. It's it's a little bit sad that they are. Uh, I would I wanted them to be more like uh, pay to play and not pay to win, but they are cool any anyway. Oh, well, yes, since you can add uh, a bunch of stuff and pay uh, pay your way up the, up the ladder, that's pay to win. It's free to play, but pay to win. <laughs> as long as you can buy your way... Uh, the game 
the same is with cross outs. So, it's a little bit uh, makes me a little bit sad, but the games can still be good. You just have to be aware that uh, people tend to spend a lot of money to catch you in the games. <laughs> It's the same with uh, any any games that are free to play. They want your money in the end. <laughs> That's what I like uh, best about um, when games are a full price and uh, don't demand you to uh, use money after. Yeah, F F2, uh, like only cosmetics, that's fine in my opinion. Because uh, that doesn't uh, improve your skills or uh, possibilities to win. But uh, I'm not a big fan when uh, when you can pay your way to the top. But only skins, that's okay in my book because <coughs> that, me enemy cruiser. that means I don't have to uh, spend money to be good. But I think also that many companies have uh, gone a little bit, uh, a few steps back from the pay to win thing after all these uh, controversy controversies with uh, Battlefront 2 and stuff like that. So we can only hope. Uh, Maybe we research the chip. Then let's switch to another ship so we can uh, upgrade. But of course, any <coughs> yeah, it slowly disappears, and I'm very pleased with that. But in any pay to win game, you can always progress um, without spending money. It just takes, uh, uh, it's, it's just a long, long, long grind. So in the end, many people tend to uh, spend money to, uh, to not have to play that grind. <laughs> It's like, uh, let me spend some money to not play your game. While playing your game. I don't mind a little bit of grinding, but... In some games they are so slow. Let's head for. Uh, let's go half speed. For now. Try to uh, be a little bit smarter. 
yes, uh, exactly, Quan. Exactly. And try to play with people that have every expansion. Good luck, Shark. <laughs> well, Hearthstone is is still a fun game, though. But uh, yeah, in the end, you might want to play, spend some money on it. So I like I like many of the pay to win games because they can be fun, but it's just the concept and uh, so it's a it's a love hate relationships I guess love hate love the game hate the concept <laughs> But it would be cool if you can, if in these types of games, if they are, uh, uh, if the team uh, matchmaking is set up so you don't meet the best, the best ships, the best tanks, and everything like that. You you meet people in uh, in your own tier and in your own. Payment level, then uh, then it's better because then you can of course still have fun playing with equals. But of course, a challenge a challenge is good also, but <laughs> it has to be a fair challenge. It's been a while since I played Hearthstone now, actually. Need to play some Hearthstone again. Gwent. I haven't really played Gwent, but I know what it is, of course. Our victory is in sight. Our victory is in sight. Yeah. <clears throat> Time is always a problem. Oh. Don't crash. Oh nice, yeah, you are finished with your exams in a week. That sounds good. That sounds real good. Don't do college. <laughs> well, I didn't. I have not studied anything after high school. Which I didn't even finish. Uh. So, sometimes I wish I did, but oh well. What can I do? I was so tired of school after high school, so. And I didn't finish high school because I got sick in the last year and I was away for a long while so because of that I never got to I never got back to it been working as a security guard ever since <laughs> but oh well Let's try this one. 
I have a job at least. That's good. That's important. But yeah, I have never been very fond of school, but of course I see the importance of it, but I think the whole system is, uh, yeah, yeah, I think so, in some uh, aspects at least, yeah, and also, if um, I, I think the the whole school system should be changed up, because it is very little room for uh, for uh, focusing on the direction you want to take in life. So. I think it's a little bit bad. And I read an article the other day about how the school system compared to a, a regular work day and how no one in an office, for example, would have uh, accepted the terms of a school day, like with the classes and everything. It's so little. You have so little time to focus on one subject if you are not spending all your days, all your weeks, all your weekends, all your time off to study it also. So maybe it would be better, this is just my thoughts, if you had full days of one subject. <laughs> and uh, so one one subject one day and you have it like i don't know once every two weeks with a lesser important uh, subjects and uh, once every week or whatever i don't know yeah because going from, oh, this, this uh, 45 minutes I have math, the next 45 minutes I have, uh, I have uh, nature science, and uh, now I'm going to draw something. And <laughs> take a look at my drawing streams. I spend like four hours on one drawing from start to finish. How can I do that in 45 to 90 minutes? I'm barely finished with the sketch. And even, even in my, uh, where I went to uh, uh, arts and crafts in high school, and even there, going from uh, drawing to uh, uh, woodwork to ceramics to math <laughs> to Norwegian to English, it's a very confusing day. And on the third year, since we had a little of the regular subjects, uh, we had to take, uh, we had to have an intensive uh, Norwegian English and stuff like that. So suddenly we had a lot of hours of Norwegian per week and less drawing. So I got burned out completely. Two years with mostly uh, creative subjects, and uh, last year with uh, <laughs> very little creative subjects. Kind of messes you up. <clears throat> so the whole school system needs some readjusting. That's for sure. I, I know 
very good how it is to be tired from school and burned out. And, uh, when I walk around at work, I am so glad that I don't have to do the exams and stuff. And also, I did my hard drive. I don't know what it is uh, in English, but uh, I did a few exams. One uh, one day exam and one three day exam in uh, security as a privatist. And uh, even that was very stressful to me. So and that was only four days in total. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If if I uh, I had one subject where I was really good <laughs> the last year of high school, and that was uh, ancient history. And the only thing, uh, the one thing that uh, uh, made that my best subject was. Um, was the ancient history part because that's something I uh, I am <laughs> I do like uh, and the other reason was the philosophy side of it because our teacher she we had some philosophy tests and you were supposed to answer the questions with your thoughts and that was a really cool idea I think because that's what I did and compared to others in my class which did not they were focused on the on the fact side of everything so most people in that class except a few uh, focused on the on the fact side of everything instead of trying to uh, philosophize philosophy <laughs> use your head to <laughs> to think around the questions and give answers um, out from your own head on what you think the philosopher or whatever uh, what this point was and that that was a really good one because first there was no oh, real I'm wrong questions. I sure can't wait to drink all these drinks. Hey, raid from Green Queen. I appreciate it. Welcome everyone from Green Queen's stream. Appreciate it. You are most welcome in my uh, sailing uh, adventure here in World of. Uh, World of Warships. Thanks for that, Green Queen. I appreciate it. Love your face. Raids are always fun. I like raids. I like doing raids and I like receiving raids. <laughs> So I have to pass it forward after this stream and raid someone. How are you today, Green Queen? How is life? Yeah, I'm Norwegian. We love the raids. We are known for raids. That's what we did for uh, for a long time, I guess. <laughs> Mer merchant raids. That's our thing. Full speed, and we are a bit slow, I think.
good to always aim a little bit ahead of the ships because they are moving. So don't aim directly where you are supposed to, uh, where you want to hit. The ship is on fire. I wish, I wish there was a viking ship in this game. <laughs> that would be fun. <clears throat> Let's take their base, shall we? I must say I like this game better than World of uh, World of Tanks. That's for sure. But I wish there was a inside view from the there the <laughs> Uh, what's it called? Oh my god. The helm. <laughs> hey, Daluni69. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Try a random battle. Let's try a random battle. Or Let's see research, yes. <laughs> you love raids more? You love receiving raids more, or do you love uh, raiding more? <laughs> hey, Wadi Park, welcome. Oh, welcome, welcome. Happy Moan Day! <laughs> Happy Moan Day to you too! Oh yes, I guess... Uh, <laughs> I guess... Um, uh, UK has a little history of the uh, raiding themselves. Thank you for the follow, Daluni. Thank you for the follow, and here is an explosion for you. Boom. Ah, well that's nice. Yeah, both me and Green Queen are in uh, Nerdy Support, which is an awesome uh, little community made by that nerdy guy. So... <laughs> nom 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 mine 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 nom 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 <laughs> I have to well I can't yes I have to. I need to just top off my coffee cup A 
how many people do we have in here now? Uh, we have 11. So, since I didn't do my, <clears throat> my uh, little game giveaway, what I was... I don't know, Lana. I... I... Yeah, that, that's good. Then I will start... Uh, start a little bit of a giveaway after this round. I have one more uh, copy of... Um, Postal 2 to give away, and since I didn't do a giveaway yesterday, which I was supposed to, but... I have more people here. Hey, shower cap! Welcome! Welcome, welcome! Shower cap and body part are uh, awesome guys. They are cool people, and Lana is cool people. Everyone is cool people. <laughs> But yeah, after this round, I will uh, open my little giveaway in my box, and I have uh, one copy of um, one copy of Postal Two to give away. So if you like that or want that, be sure to stay, stay put. Also do a little bit, a little bit shout, shouting, shouting outing, also. Shouty outing. <clears throat> oh. If I have tried that game myself, Lana, how dare you? Of course I have. I played Postal 1 when I was not allowed, when I was a kid. And I played Postal 2, probably, <laughs> if my parents knew, uh, when I was not allowed. So yes, I have played it. I even played Apocalypse Weekend, which is the DLC for it. It's a very... Um, but it's a long time since I played it though. It's from uh, Running with Scissors uh, game company. And you play the Postal Dude, which is a crazy man. In Postal 2, you are uh, <coughs> doing chores for your uh, uh, wife, and you get in trouble uh, everywhere. So. Uh, it is very fun. It is a very fun game, but it's a very controversial game. Um, and not for the faith of uh, heart, I guess. <laughs> because you do some weird, weird stuff in that game. Which, uh, yeah, you, you are going postal. And especially in the first game, you are really going postal, but uh, in the second game, you, I guess you also go postal. Yeah, it's very gory, but also uh, controversial in the fact that you are, uh, <coughs> you are meeting uh, terrorists and you are... Uh, uh, doing stuff in the game. Uh, okay, and my ship is sunk. So let me just. Ah. Can I not? Okay, I will just have to do that. And let me just go in here for a minute. So. But yeah, I recommend uh, everyone to just uh, read a little bit about that game because it was 
it was illegal in some countries for a while, but uh, after Steam greenlighted it, it was more uh, that disappeared. So, <clears throat> giveaway is open. You can have a maximum of five tickets, and each ticket cost 1500 Krabby Patties. And you can check your uh, Krabby Pad Patties by, uh, yeah, going uh, into the points thing there. So that was that, and I was also going to shout out some people. Let's see. Boom, 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 shake the room. <clears throat> what is what's going on? Oh, I'm just watching. <laughs> You are welcome. Everybody is welcome. My pleasure. So, uh, let's see. After the stream, uh, after the stream, I will have to. Yeah. I will pick a winner at the end of the stream and uh, whoever wins I will uh, contact with a whisper message and uh, and I need uh, the winner's uh, steam information when I uh, when I get there so if you want to add me on steam uh, search for uh, Jesterix, my uh, my Twitch name on Steam, and add me because I have to give I have to give the the game either by sending it to somebody on my friend list or by email. So <clears throat> I need either the email or the or the account. Let me just see. Uh, so far, it's only Sam Knur that has joined. But if anyone has a little bit too little points, let me make it rain some points on you. <coughs> <clears throat> so now everyone in chat should have uh, at least enough points for two uh, two tickets. <laughs> so now it's no reason to uh, <laughs> to not <laughs> to not join the giveaway. I love that make it rain thing. Uh, Shower cap, you have to make uh, sure you type uh, raffle, exclamation point, raffle, and the amount of tickets one to five. Yeah, like, like uh, Kvan Knu did. All right, let's go out with the Emden.
There we go. Now you should, uh, let's see. Yeah, now you are in there. I need to... I need to switch this back to uh, windowed, full screen windowed mode, so I can actually switch between, and maybe I can hide the taskbar, where is it, that, that pose, work, work, to, work to linear, where's that hiding thing? This is this. There we go. There we go. Battle. <clears throat> you are go. You are in queue for a battle. So now I can use my bot at the same time. Ash my <laughs> stuff, which is good. Thanks for the host, Wody Part. Spread my craziness to the world. <clears throat> look at my beautiful as uh, a German ship. This looks like a modified cruise ships. Oh yes, I do like the stream decks. I have one for all my scenes. And clip command, and I have one soundboard <laughs> with various uh, sounds, I guess I my pants again. and one for commands, and one for song requests. Uh, well, Kvernknur, and if you are at the university, I can understand why you are uh, hot and uncomfortable, because <laughs> the university's air-conditioned stuff are not always that great, to be honest. Especially in this kind of weather, it's... yeah... So yeah, I I know your feel. Oh, you're in your apartment. Okay, then you don't have AC. <laughs> I guess. But yeah, at the university, especially at night when the when the uh, air condition is turned off, it can be really uncomfortable being indoors for a long time. Especially in our office. It's tree shouts with a horn when a ship leaves the port, isn't it? Oh yeah, I know that feel. Same here. get closer oh no I'm detected horror I 
I have so many cannons. Oh no. That's up for you too. Oh, come on. Get down. Get to the shop. No. <laughs> oh, he had a heavier uh, ship than me, though. Oh, yeah, he did. So sad. So sad. Is that a torpedo? I think that's a torpedo. Where is it going? <clears throat> Where are the torpedoes going? In every direction. Okay, there's one sh one friendly ship to get left. You can do it! <laughs> it's only four ships. I think you are dead. Sorry. Rip. Rip, friend. I will stay here with you. To the end. The end is me. Boom. Oh well. What to do? Back to port.
I want to go with this one again. Is there? Research that. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, let's go with this one again. If anyone has this ship or are planning to get this ship I would like to uh, have you on my friends list would be fun to play with people oh I forgot I have two weapons That I forgot. Armor piercing and heavy. I was just using that first one, so. Let's do uh, every other. What? Why can't they have two? Set a smoke screen. Set a smoke screen. Set a smoke screen. All forces protect the base. All forces defend the base. Come sail away, come sail away with me. By the way, song requests are active if you want to request a song. Yeah, not now, Microsoft Store. <laughs> Rude. Crap. What the hell? That was weird. In the middle of a battle and everything.
I am doing what they told me, defending the base. <laughs> Yeah, Clan Knurren, song request, but <laughs> you have to add a song. Shit. Don't stop now. Problem solved, sir. Oh no 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 no. Oh no, I'm dead. Yeah, URL is uh, often the best choice. I hope you can hear the song. You can still hear me. <laughs> oh. At least I sunk one ship. Microsoft Store wanted me to check out the newest update. Well, check that out later. This is a cool song. Very chill. <clears throat> it's 
Solomon Islands. Irate Gamer, hello. Welcome. Wows. <laughs> What's up, Irate Gamer? Been a while since I've seen you. get me to start <laughs> well it's a fun game you I, I bet you play it or, or do you do you play it if you are you have to add me on your uh, friend list eh? Yeah, you were. Yeah, I, I remember now. Well, I knew about the game before you talked about it, but I had never tried it before. And uh, I was uh, looking for uh, some games other, other than Fortnite. <laughs> so I added this War Thunder. I even have World of Tanks Blitz, but I haven't played that too much. <coughs> uh, Europe. Europe is my city. <laughs> oh no! What region are you in? Puny little shit. North America. Uh, can you switch regions? Or is that uh, difficult? Or do you do I need a separate account for uh, for another region? Bye bye, little one. Oh, really? Oh! I will call you back after. I can't answer my phone in the middle of this battle. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I'm in Europe since I'm. Uh, Since I'm uh, in Norway, but you can always make a European account, can't you? <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> oh no, are we crashing? Oh. Boom, boom, shake the room. Oh, he's dead. Oh, is, is you dead? Are you dead? Little bot, little one, I think you are. Yes, you are. You are quite dead. Long to smithereens. But there are other games we can play together. Have you played Crossout, uh, Irate Gamer? You should take a look at Crossout. That's really fun. I love that game. It's so cool to build, uh, build the cars. <laughs> and fight with them. I love it. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I had to be uh, Captain Jestrix in this one for some reason. I thought I had a... Uh... Oh, that's silly, but okay. So now I'm Captain Jestrix in uh, World of Tanks Splits and this one. And in War Thunder, uh, since I kind of messed up a little bit and cross out, I'm Jestrix92592. I hate those numbers. <laughs> I wrote I wrote an email to uh, Gajin support to uh, try to change it. Well, I try to keep Jestrix in all all my games, and s so far, so good. <laughs> my first gamer tag on um, on uh, Xbox was Psycho Bear, only in Norwegian. So Psycho Psycho Bamse. <laughs> And before that, I was uh, Kraft Djevel in other games on PC before I got this Xbox 360 because my email was Kraft Djevel, which means Power Devil, which is uh, what a Balrog is classified as <laughs> in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> but uh, Balrog was, of course, Taken for emails and stuff. Yeah, Kraft Gevel. So I was reading some uh, uh, Lord of the Rings wiki, and somewhere they classified uh, Balrog as a Kraft, Kraft Gevel or Power Devil. So, <laughs> so I figured, why not? But I had it as my email for a long time, and when I started working as a security guard, I uh, I found out that Kraft Djevel was probably not the not the best way to uh, <laughs> best email address to have. <laughs> so I switched it to my name instead. How did I come up with Jestrix? Well, uh, I did use only Gestir uh, for a while, um, which means guest in old old Norwegian and uh, in old Norwegian and uh, Icelandic and Fyris, I guess. So Gestir means guest. Uh, and I used Gestir because Gestir was the name of uh, a soldier type in the med medieval ages. Uh, what setting is that, I rate? And uh, so I called myself Gestir because Gestir was uh, a soldier type in the Norwegian medieval armies okay and uh, the gestir they were kind of like uh, they operated like kind of a secret police type of uh, soldiers um, let me go through that after uh, I read and when I started, I uh, was supposed to start streaming and everything, and uh, uh, before that actually, but I wanted a more streamlined, streamlined name that I could use everywhere, so I added 
uh, the X ending to my name, so I became Gestirix. And uh, <clears throat> so that's a mix between Gestir and uh, X. And the X ending is because X Asterix and Obelix, the comic book. <coughs> so, ooh, ship commander, next level. Uh, so I, I do like uh, Asterix and Obelix. I uh, have uh, the complete... Uh, the complete Asterix and Obelix collection in my shelf, at least the older ones, not the new ones. Uh, I don't want to watch the video tutorials. Settings, and then controls. Alright, what do you want me to change? Yeah, Asterix is the best! Van Knuix. <laughs> yeah, so if you put uh, me in the Asterix universe, you might be, I, I will be Gestirix, and uh, like you have um, the name for uh, uh, mo many of the characters at least in Asterix have their name uh, put together with what they do and uh, the X ending. Uh, alternative bat uh, battle interface. Okay. You on full or adaptive? I guess full. Uh, so I would become in the Asterix and Obelix universe, I guess I would become the one that visit the village a lot, <laughs> since I'm the guest here. So that's my nickname. It's, and if you want to read, just a uno momento. If you want to uh, take a look at where I got the idea for uh, Gestir, um, this is the book where it says where they talk about the Gestir or the, the guest. This is a book uh, from um, uh, that was written in uh, around uh, 1250 and this is translated to New Norwegian. So it's a learning book about the uh, Norwegian society in the medieval ages and it's made for, uh, for the kings at the time when they were learning to uh, learning about the society, I guess. Um, I just have to make a quick phone call, so I will be right back. Uh, it will be real quick, so I will be back real soon.
Oh, sorry. <laughs> Some. Oh, there we go. Yeah, sorry. I forgot to unmute myself. <laughs> oh well. Um. But yeah, thanks for that, Lana. It was a good story time indeed. But I, I highly recommend everyone to, in Norway at least, to read this book. So, it's uh, written in a way, it's a kind of a conversation about, uh, between a father and a son. And uh, it, uh, it's called the, the King's Mirror because it's uh, basically for royalties, I guess. And the first chapter is about merchants and uh, how, how uh, merchants worked, worked in the medieval ages. And the second one is about the king's army, what weapons they used, uh, how they were supposed to behave, and stuff like that. And then you have about the king. In the end, expectations and uh, yeah. So, all about the medieval society, especially in uh, Norway and uh, Northern Europe, I guess. <clears throat> so it's a very nice little book. It's not very long, but it tells you a lot. It even tells you which clothes to wear when you are meeting the king. <laughs> Brown leggings are uh, very nice. So that's why I have uh, brown leggings for my medieval clothes. <laughs> Which I have a bunch of. I don't know how easy it is to get the book. I ordered it on um, online. I found out that was the easiest way to get it. I don't think it's in English, so I have a, never seen it in, in English. try to fire at the cannon. And don't crash into the island. Oh, don't crash into the island. Oh, no.
desktop. to survive on uh, repair How goes the battles? Well, on and off, we are uh, winning some, we are losing some, but uh, rather good, I think. And uh, welcome, welcome to the stream, welcome. How are you, the darkness? How is everything? Hope you're doing good. Nice. I'm sorry I haven't been too active when you have been streaming, but I have tried to lurk at least. Especially when it's uh, late in the evening or night for me, then it's not always easy for me to be very active in chat. Yeah, an early support. Awesome group. What? Get away. Oh, all my programs is appearing. <laughs> Yeah, do you know about that site? Uh, hey, Maxa! Why are all World of Warship streamers having a big beard? <laughs> well, if you are a sea captain, you need a big beard, don't you? That's part of the part of the uniform. <laughs> you can't be a captain without a beard. That's not allowed. <laughs> and uh, I like I like uh, my beard. It will never go away. Where is that last boat? Isn't it around this island somewhere? This is gonna be the coolest party ever. Thank you for the follow, uh, uh, Maxa. Appreciate it. Darius, I see you. Hiding over here. Ah, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I try the best I can at least. Have good vibes. I was supposed to do a, I was supposed to do a creative stream today, but I have to. Uh, my uh, second camera was uh, not cooperating. That's some penetration. <laughs> oh yes, my second camera wasn't uh, agreeing with me, so. Um, 
so then I had to uh, do something else instead of trying to figure out what was wrong with it. So I went to play uh, World of Warships instead. And why not? Why not? It's it's a fun game. I like it. Upgrades. <clears throat> I want this one for this one as well. And let's see. Let's do that for all my ships. Yes, I want upgrades for all my ships. Thank you for that, uh, Naxa. Black Swan. Maybe I should take the Black Swan for a ride. Uh, sail out with the black swan see research yes No. Black Swan. Research that one. Yes. Thank you for that, uh, Maxa. Yeah, that's. Uh, if I if I had um, if I had. Um, uh, that um, bloop 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 uh, bloop bloop bloop. If I had a drawing tablet, I could do um, a drawing stream on the directly on the PC. So I might just uh, get me one of those. My wife has one, but since I'm doing pen and paper drawings mostly uh, I need my second camera so and uh, I probably the main thing is that I had my second camera connected to a USB hub which is not the, uh, the best option uh, there's one thing I need to try and that's to connect uh, a power cord to my USB hub see if that works but I don't have a power cord for it right now uh, the second thing I want to do is to buy more USB ports uh, PSI ports for my PC so I can have more USB ports directly to the PC um, and the third thing the fastest thing is to reorganize all my uh, all my USB cables and uh, have both my cameras connected to the PC, but uh, uh, I I don't have enough ports for everything I use, so that's a little bit annoying. Oh, uh, all of them, <laughs> all of them. <laughs> I have um, right now. I have two USBs connected to my um, uh, USB hub, and that's my microphone. And then I have one for my Stream Deck. I have one for my I I IR, uh, IR sensor. Hey, the darkness with the bits. Thank you for those. I appreciate it. And of course, I have uh, one for my main uh, my main uh, webcam, and I have my mouse, I have my keyboard, and I have my capture card for my Xbox, and uh, yeah, and I also have a steering wheel, um, 
a gear shifter and a button box which is not connected currently but uh, needs to be connected when I um, am streaming uh, American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator which I haven't done in a long while so yeah I have a lot of stuff that needs connecting and uh, <laughs> I don't have enough I don't have enough ports. I really don't have enough ports. I need more ports. So... Yeah. I should have thought about that when I bought the PC in the first place, but... Uh, when I bought it, I didn't have that many items that needed uh, connections, so... I have gotten some more uh, since then, so... I am all alone over here, almost. That's not a good... good thing. Hey Ginger Snap, welcome. How are you today? Hope you're doing good. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Having too much fun with this game. TP link. Oh, cool. I can check that out. I have tried a. Uh... I have tried a few um, USB hubs, but. I don't think I've tried TP links. I'm good, just done at work, so gonna get summer clothes and then uh, home to home and stream. Sounds good, uh, Ginger Snap. Sounds very good. Uh, I am doing fine, doing good. I'm going to stream for about an hour more and then I'm going out with my dogs again, with my dad, going for a walk. And I'm going to stream later tonight with Call of Duty, me and uh, Alad Phillips. You know Alad, don't you? Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> so yeah, later tonight, me and Alad are going to war. What kind of dogs? I can show you, <laughs> show you them after when this battle is over but i have uh, durations uh yes the darkness you may post a link so yeah me and aled are going to play call of duty world war ii later tonight oh come oh cool that's the ah oh. And is that very powerful, so it can run various stuff? I need to fix something here. Just open that. So I don't uh, lose it. I have a sandstrom uh, thing. Oh, 
with seven ports. But I might give that a try. Where are you located, uh, Ginger Snap? Are you in uh, Britain or are you in uh, in Wales, like Alad? I hate this windowed mode thing. I think I have to go full screen again. No. Apply. Because all my things. Oh, you're in Norway! <laughs> you're in my country! <laughs> well, that's true. I, I remember now, actually. I think you have uh, talked about it. Either. Uh, in his stream or something. Another Norwegian. Where in Norway were you located? Problem solved, sir. Arcas Hughes, you are in the east. That's nice. How is the weather over there? Have you uh, had uh, equally as good uh, weather as uh, we have over here? so close to die there we go hey yeah so warm yeah it is here too but now i can show you one of my dogs have to lure her up one of my dogs <laughs> that's uh, this is kera He's a seven-year-old girl, and also we have her brother, who's called Khan, and uh, he's uh, currently resting out in the hallway, so I don't want to get him. Yeah. So, they are really warm in this weather, so <laughs> they... Uh, <laughs> They don't like, or they like to be outside in the warm weather, but they get uh, really sweaty, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, they are nice dogs. Eurasian is the breed called. So uh, let's see. That's the breed's name. Just close down some windows here. Don't have all the windows up. Close this down. There we go. So yeah, it's a really nice uh, breed. They are really kind dogs. Uh, very um, sensitive dogs you might say they get really attached to their owners if you do not uh, socialize them a lot uh, both our dogs are really socialized so they can adjust to different people real fast all right ginger snap thanks for stopping by and have a really good stream later on if I am able to, I will stop by and say hi. <laughs> Saying Arcasus because you are from the municipal 
who shall not be named. <laughs> Akasu sounds cooler though. That sounds like a fortress, and it is a fortress, so. Like Belgian Hoos. Bergen Hoos is my castle. <laughs> that was a spam from myself. You're welcome. <laughs> the screen deck wouldn't respond uh, right away, so... <laughs> but I do have a giveaway, so everyone that's uh, watching, if you want, uh, if you want, Postal 2, then take a look. Take a look at it. Oh yes, uh, Kvarnknur uh, Bergenhus is a great place to sit when it's nice weather. But even better than Bergenhus is uh, Sveresborg, which is the top part of the castle. There it's more, even more relaxing to sit with a nicer view. Hey, Ailstorm, thanks. I like it. I love it a lot. Oh. oh yeah, Bergenhus is the whole, uh, yeah, Sveresborg is the top part of the castle, uh, above the military recruitment uh, facility thing. <laughs> and uh, Bergenhus is the whole complex, or the lower part. And you of course have the yeah, but the whole the whole place is uh, is really good. It's a nice place to be. This is not going too well for us. Uh, Sun Weekend is a nice place to uh, to live. I have some uh, friends that live uh, out there. Oh no! This is not looking too good for you, Black Swan. And Shengan. Oh, 
but I kind of don't like to live in the downtown area. I like to live outside. So I'm very pleased with staying in a filling style. And in uh, some years, we might uh, move out to Aske. If we get uh, the land and everything we need, I need to change ships. Let me just... Yeah, Aske is very beautiful. My wife is from um, my wife is from Aske, so that's why we uh, might be able to get some um, some land out there. Uh, Does it cost money to demount stuff? That's stupid. Oh well. Set this as primary ship. Uh, let's see. And let's go for this one. Do battle! Yeah, I really like Aske. And uh, uh, we can. Uh, my father-in-law has a house in almost in Herdla, which is on the very north side of the island. So from him, it's like 15 minutes to drive to Herdla, and uh, yeah, that's a really nice place. Herdla is beautiful. It's an old. Uh, with the old airport from World War II, which is now a bird sanctuary, I I guess, <laughs> and um, and yeah, it's a really nice place. You can even play golf out there. They have a little golf course. <clears throat> General quarters. Where's that? Good luck, everyone. Good luck and fair seas. So just keep the song request coming. I like the music. I did think that there was possible to just type the artist and title as well, but let me see. Maybe it's because my Spotify is not on. Let me turn on Spotify. So Van Knull, if you can try to just type the artist and name and see if that works.
weird. At least it responded. <laughs> but maybe that song isn't on Spotify. I have both uh, requests active for Spotify and YouTube. friend the Orlen. destroyed enemy cruiser suck Windows. Hey, Crazy Pingo! Yeah, new to uh, yeah, I'm new to uh, World of Warships. That's true. I haven't played it uh, for very long. This is probably my second or third time playing it. So yeah, I'm very new to it. <laughs> Welcome back. How are you today? Year eight. Jesus! I think I have. Uh, I don't know actually. 
<laughs> well, I'm not I'm not tier eight, that's for sure. What's up? Uh, so I haven't been playing too long. If you have it and uh, we'll play it again, and you uh, you can add me to to your to your list. <laughs> I think we are pretty safe in here. There he is. Heavy damage. Yeah, it's really fun. I like it. I really like it. Hey, team. Oh, where is that? Hey, Lana. Shop too. <laughs> Crazy. No, 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 no. Gosh, damn it. Yeah, I think I seen that. Yeah, there is a lot of, oh, there is a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of different games on Steam, that's for sure. I'm doing good. I am, um, I was supposed to do a drawing stream today, but my second camera isn't, uh, uh, my second camera isn't uh, cooperating with me today, so I had to do something else. So, nice. And I am going to stream for about 25 more minutes. That's a good combination, Lana. <laughs> Robot fight something come on last teammate you can do this you can get him mango dressing that sounds uh, lovely what are you going to use it for uh? Sweet potato fries. Now you're making me hungry. Evil. Big fat steak. Well, that's where you lost me, Lana. That's where you lost me. The mango dressing and sweet potato fries. That's okay. But no meat for me. I don't know what we are going to have for dinner today, to be sure, to be honest. Uh oh. I have time for one more battle. Then I have to log off. My dad is leaving work earlier <laughs> than planned.
Oh yes, Lana, uh, the best mango dressing ever on inside restaurant. They are in Bergen. That's true. Uh, that's very, very correct. They even have it uh, vegan, I think. I believe they do. And they have awesome vegan burgers. So I, I really love going to uh, to inside for burgers. I just wish they had that uh, uh, big ass burger thing vegan as well. That's not good, uh, Kvan. You should uh, you should tell them. Maybe you get it for free. I have to answer you after. But usually they are pretty pretty good with uh, with the dressings and uh, everything. They even have vegan cheese. Hmm. Oh yeah, true fedora. Well, it's not always easy when you you could not. It's easy. <laughs> it's not very hard. I've been uh, vegan for uh, three and a half years. You and all the carnivores love bacon, don't you? I made uh, I made vegan bacon though. Which is pretty awesome. Um, there is. I use. Um, I have made tofu bacon that was really good. I, I even managed to make it taste like real bacon, and got it very crispy as well. So, but it's been a while since I made it. Yeah, Satan. Satan is always uh, a good bet. Hail Satan! Problem solved, sir. So there are more and more good options, and if you bother, if you bother to cook a little bit and learn some re recipe, uh, there is a lot of things you can do. I will not force anyone, though. but uh, there is a lot of good vegan food out there. When I started, when I first became vegan, I, uh, I uh, managed to go down in weight, and then they started uh, making more and more. I, or, then I learned more about it, so I found out there is a lot of junk food that's vegan. <laughs> So when I started, the first year I was vegan, I was very, uh, very clean in my food. Ate a lot of, a lot of clean foods, and uh, and then I uh, and then I found all the junk food, uh, vegan junk food, and I uh, I was lost again. Yes. Uh, crazy pingu. It really depends on the on the, which uh, type of uh, meat replacement it is. Because uh, yeah, vegan junk food. There is a lot of vegan junk food, and there's a lot of uh, food items like uh, crisp and everything, chips that are uh, that are uh, natively vegan, but not labeled as vegan, but. Uh, there is more and more uh, stuff. Oreos, for example, in Norway, is uh, is vegan. The ship is on fire. My ship is burning. Uh oh, this is not going to go too well. I'm dead. Uh, got, it, it depends on your taste. If you like it more spicy, Lana, uh, the 
then you can go with the grill spiced or uh, the um, full one. But the garlic and thyme is uh, very nice. Yeah, you should do that, Lana. Well, Crazy Pingu, I don't mind, but, but, I hope you would try it if you got it served. Because there is a lot of good vegan food if it's made properly. If it's uh, bad cooking, it's still bad cooking. <laughs> so it really depends on uh, the one making the foods. Because if it's a bad cook, then it's a bad experience. And if it's a good cook, then it's a good experience. <laughs> Shut up! Oh well. Uh, yeah, I also just love food. I'm a foodie. But yeah, when I'm on vacation and I found a vegan place, I go crazy. Like when I was in Amsterdam the last time, uh, we found uh, a vegetarian bakery that had uh, a ve vegetarian restaurant that has, had some good vegan options. And uh, I was like, what do you have that's vegan? And they had a uh, lasagna. So we ordered uh, two portions of lasagna and uh, some starters. And then I was like, uh, what kind of cakes do you have that's vegan? And uh, she told me we have uh, this cake, this cake, this cake and this cake. And I was like, one of each, please. <laughs> so, so yeah. Uh, Lana, there is uh, in Stavanger, I think, or is it in... There is a vegan food type of festival thing that is near your near you yeah crazy finger that's how it is when i go to a place and i have vegan options i very often just i want one of each thank you <laughs> so it can be very expensive to go to a vegan restaurant or a or just a restaurant that serves vegan food because i i want to try it all everything give me all the food <laughs> I always have to have uh, with me some uh, cash when I do that and especially like if I am in one country and I'm going to one uh, well uh, crazy I'm uh, actually logging off now because I have to take my dogs out and take a walk with my dad uh, Lana if I've tried it I've eaten it a lot <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, and every time I go to McDonald's to have that vegan burger, I always order two menus because it's so cheap. It's like 150 kroners for two full menus. So, so that's, it's really, it's of course not the best one, but if out there, but it's, it's an option and in the middle of the night if you're working and you don't have uh, if you don't have anything available and you don't bother to make food before work then uh, it's uh, very very cool to have that option since they are open 24 7. Lana Big Tasty that was actually my uh, go-to uh, burger when I ate McDonald's <laughs> and I usually ate like one of them and one extra one time when I was at work and went to McDonald's to buy one of those uh, vegan burgers I had to wait for so long because there was a trainee uh, serving and um, 
<laughs> they gave me a regular vegan no a regular burger as uh uh to say sorry for the wait and of course i i just wanted to get out of there so i forgot to just give it back and i was like wait i cannot eat this well so uh i um so i took that with me and i knew that one of uh one of the romanian beggars that i have some contact with when i'm at work i always stop with him uh when he's uh, out there so i uh, drove over to him looked uh, went to see if he was there and uh asked him he was if he was hungry and he got the he got the extra burger that i couldn't eat myself so he was happy about that i usually buy him coffee or something but but the last time he actually said that he doesn't drink coffee and i was like oh man i wish you said that like one year ago <laughs> so i didn't buy you coffee and i could buy you bananas or something like that instead <laughs> So he was like, I, I don't really buy, I don't really drink coffee though. <laughs> but uh, of course, in winter time, he, um, uh, I guess it was warm, so he just kept it and hold it in his hand, keep the hands warm, so it did help. But I have to buy him uh, some other stuff instead. But uh, but yeah. I'm usually, if I see them outside or within my my area when I'm uh, working, I usually go and buy something for them. If I have the time, I'm not really busy. So I try to do that. Spend some love. AFC, <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> don't we have it? Have it somewhere? One thing we don't. And then they need to start making mango dressing. <laughs> well, yeah, everyone needs to start making mango dressing. We have Pollo Loco. Do you? Los Pollos Hermanos. <laughs> That's the only one I know. Los Pollos Hermanos. <laughs> I want one of those. Los Pollos Hermanos. That would be fun. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Derp. Well. You will have to go get it then, don't you? <laughs> oh well, I am getting hungry with all this food talk. What should I eat? How do you know if things are vegan or not? Like a bag of peanuts? Well, you look at the ingredients and uh, <clears throat> basically the first yeah the first thing you check for is dairy products egg like the normal stuff usually they are uh, 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 pointed out because they are allergens so that's the main thing you look for and then if you are you have to go for some things like aromas and stuff like that you might have to go a little deeper into the material <laughs> and maybe you have to send an email to the company just to be sure yeah there is a lot of weird things that are made from like gelatin that is basically crushed animal bones and uh, waste so all your candies are crushed animals I don't use too much cosmetics though <laughs> but yeah there is uh, you can there is uh, apps uh, that uh, go through different types of 
products and stuff like that. So there's a lot of ways to find out. There's a lot of groups on the internet that uh, provides information. Uh, one of my friends and neighbors uh, in the other apartment building, she has a she has a little vegan collective over there. So that so I can just ask them if they know of something is vegan. And of course, just practice. I guess when you learn learn a little bit more about it. When you live with it every day, you figure out in the end what is vegan and what is not vegan. So uh, in the end, it goes automatically. And usually, you just have to check a product once to find out. Okay. And also, when abroad, it's uh, it can be good to have like. Uh, uh, just some knowledge about what the different uh, allergens is called in the local language uh, so you can look at different products there and of course just look for a vegetarian and vegan restaurants which is really easy with uh, like apps like happy cow especially abroad Well, Lana, you might say I'm the opposite of low carb. <laughs> I'm very high carb. Car carbs are basically my uh, my main <laughs> thing. So yeah, uh, but uh, I don't feel like I have given up on things just because I'm vegan. I just have to think different so I can have uh, almost everything I want it's a vegan option for me. or I can make make an option for me. so and <clears throat> a lot of stuff can be fixed with the like uh, spices and stuff a lot of the flavors in a lot of products are basically just spices Spices and herbs, that's what makes the best tastes. So experimenting with uh, spices and herbs is a great way to, to, to make it easier, I guess. So, yeah, hummus. <laughs> hummus is awesome. I like hummus. And guacamole. A lot of different stuff and of course you can go uh, complete nuts and just uh, eat fruits <laughs> it's a lot of ways to, to make it yeah there is a lot of different ways to do do this lifestyle because I guess it is it is a lifestyle So yeah, hummus is definitely best homemade, definitely. I like hummus. Oh nice, Crazy Pingu. Yeah, it is really hot today, that's for sure. Yeah, a lot of tahini. The it's been a while since I made hummus. Chickpea paste. <laughs> oh yes. That's true. If they only use chickpeas, then it's not proper hummus. And it's just chickpea paste. So you have to have, have some tahini and have to have ingredients that makes good hummus. <laughs> That's true, that's true. But yeah, it is really hot today. It's a little bit, I wouldn't say clouds, but it's not completely blue at the moment in the sky. So it's a little bit, a little bit light cloud, light clouds. Not 
thin layer of doubts. But okay, I will have to log off now. My dad is almost here and we are going out with the dogs. So, uh, so I have to take my leave. But I will be back later tonight with some Call of Duty World War II. So that will be in about uh, four hours. So have a great day, everyone. Thanks to everyone that has been stopping by. I appreciate all your faces. <laughs> and uh, come back another day or uh, another day or later today. Whatever floats your boat. And uh, I will enjoy my little walk with my two dogs. And uh, yeah, see you all later. Bye bye.